As parents, we play psychologists to our kids at, at a lot of moments. What's your advice for how to be the best therapist for our kids when that when that's the role we need to play? So I always say, in one of my most important classes I ever took was in communication, actually. And I always say, ask the question if they're not cueing. So in, in rhetoric and communication, we talk about cueing. So if I come to you and say, like, I've had a really hard day, I just need to vent. Or I've got some questions, I'm not sure what to do with this, right? I'm cueing you of what I want your role to be. Our mm -hmm. children don't have that as much anymore. We've lost the art of that. So as a parent, I think the best thing you can say, are you looking for advice? Are you just venting? Ask them. Like, hmm. it so that sounds really tough. Like, is there is there something that, that I can do? Did you just want to talk through this, right? Be open to give them that art and that communication skill because to me, fundamentally, that's the best way you can help your child. What if they're not coming to us, but we sense through behavior or through our feelings that they need to talk, but they're just saying, yeah, it's fine. Is there a way to open the conversation without having to push, like, tell me what's going on, what's happening, why, are you, why aren't you talking to me, what, you know, what, what should we do? Secrets of the trade. <laughs> um, so yeah. for what are some tips yeah, and tricks here? So the bewitching hour for girls tend to be in the evening, so like really anywhere between like 9 and 11, like oh, really? sitting at the edge of their bed, not making eye contact with them and just kind of being present, even if you're just kind of like petting the dog or whatever, it kind of, again, it disables that piece of them where their guard is up because it's like they're tired, it's the end of the day, you're just being present, they can get to a relaxed state. So that's kind of my like little secret trick with girls. Okay. Um, boys tend to do better if they're occupied. So playing a video game, playing, throwing a ball at a hoop, um, going on a walk. If they're active, and again, the eye to eye is, is very kind of uh, aggressive, yeah. I think, if they're trying to share something. So, so again, not something that you're like looking at each other, but like able to be in something but active tends to work better with boys than anything. And then globally, I would say like getting them in a car, like our rule is like, we don't, we're not on our devices in a car for various reasons, right? Yeah. Um, I don't want to be that example and I want them to have that opening. I mean, if I'm going like 60, they can't jump out, right? So I can ask anything. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's the trap. <laughs> but, but just going through that car and like being in the presence of a car and being able to like disconnect from their school world, from their house world, and they're in a vehicle that's kind of like contained and they're not distracted by something is also a really good time. If you enjoyed this clip, we've got more where that came from. Be sure to check out my full conversation with Dr. Lisa Stroman. And one of the best ways you can help support us is to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our interviews and short videos as they come out each week.